A recently uncovered mosaic reveals biblical spies seeking out the promised land. Moses sent the spies to test the land and the will of the people. And in fact, the spies were spooked as they encountered something they had not anticipated. In the Bible, the eyewitness account as reported back to Moses reads, And they came unto the brook of Eshcol and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes, and they bare it between two upon a staff, and they brought of the pomegranates and of the figs. The place was called the brook Eshcol because of the cluster of grapes which the children of Israel cut down from thence, and they returned from searching of the land after forty days. And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh, and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came unto the land with her thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled, and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. And the Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. The mosaic is dated to around the second generation after Christ's death, and it is of major importance because it appears to back up the biblical verse, which is just stunning. The mosaic is one of about a dozen that archaeologists have uncovered at a synagogue in the ancient Jewish village of Hakok in Israel's Galilee. The detail and breadth of these discoveries indicate that the villagers flourished during the early 5th century AD when the region was under Rome's Christian rule. We just wanted to share this information with you guys. This is the type of information that has not been taken as literal over the years, rather seen as mythology or exaggeration. But the fact is the Nephilim were real, the great flood did occur, and the gods left the earth at this point. So when will they return and will they appreciate that humanity is thriving again? Who knows? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.